first of all, I thank Allah for knowing you. May Allah bless your work and everything Amen. you do with your um, colleagues. Uh, my question is um, about the niya when uh, we do make, when we make wudu. Uh, my aunt told me is uh, to say Rafa'al Rafa'al hadas al asghar. If we say that, okay. um, there there will be sufficient after we after Bismillah, of course. That would be sufficient if we, let's say, if I make udu for Salat al-Layl, whatever pray I have, if I don't lose my udu, it will be mm. sufficient. I don't have to okay. say it otherwise. Yeah, it, how how true is that? I always say, uh, Do you have another question? Maza? I do. do. you have another question? Yes, sir. Okay, what is it? Yeah. What is it? That also about the niya when we sacrifice animal. The the sacrificing animal always for Allah, isn't it? I got your questions. So basically, Maz's two questions from the USA are pertaining to the intention. The first one, somebody told her that every time you make wudu, you should say with the intention of Raf al Hadath al Azhar. This is absolutely not true and it's an innovation and you shouldn't be saying so why not because the Nabi وسلم, never did it nor did he ever approve it or instruct his companions to say yeah but my intention is to remove the minor impurity because i answered the call of nature i went to the bathroom correct the word niya means intention it's like Nuwa, the seed of the date or the food, it's hidden inside. You don't have to disclose it. You don't have to say, I'm making wudu with the intention of lifting the minor or the major impurity. This is not permissible. So utterance of the niya is not permissible. Okay? Whether in the case of the sacrifice of an animal, whether in the case of the payment of zakat, whether in the case of making salah, whether in the case of fasting to say, Oh Allah, I intend to fast tomorrow because this is the beginning of Ramadan or the middle of Ramadan, none of that. So you just say, Bismillah, and start making wudu. As far as for fasting, it's in the heart. You don't utter the niyyah. Before every prayer, you don't say, Oh Allah, I intend to pray Dhuhr for Rakaz on time. None of that is prescribed. This is an innovation. So your core, as you used to do before, Bismillah, make your wudu and pray. Fard, namaz, nafila, it doesn't matter. 